moment is beginning with some breaking news that's coming in from the state of Karnataka where the former BJP minister K.S. Ishwarappa has stoked a controversy. Now he has said and I'm quoting from his statement, mosques built on temples will be raised down and our temples will be built back. A controversial statement nonetheless that's been made by K.S. Ishwarappa and what context and premise did he make the statement for that context let me actually bring in my colleague Akshra on the broadcast. Akshra, in what capacity is Mr. Ishwarappa making such statements? Akshra? All right, uh, there seems to be a problem with the link with Akshara, but this is what has happened. K.S. Ishwarappa has choked a controversy. He said, and I'm quoting an extended uh, version of that statement that he's made, just like Ayodhya, even Kashi Vitvanath temple will be built. Same way Mathura Shri Krishna temple will be built and all the temples will have uh, that have been destroyed by the Mughals will be built uh, and uh, because they have uh, a mosque built on top of them. This is a contro uh, controversial statement that's been made by K.S. Ishwarappa. And uh, he is in fact going on to claim that mosques apparently that have been built on temples will all be raised down and temples will be built on them. My colleague Akshar is back with us uh, on the broadcast. Akshar, in what capacity, like I asked, is Mr. Ishwarappa making such controversial statements? Well, this is not the first time uh, so, uh, no, such statement has been made uh, by the... Co it's uh, going. All right, I think there is a problem with that link. We'll re-establish that connection with Akshara. Uh, and I think the talk back is uh, on. Uh, what we'll do is we'll try and fix that. And uh, in the meanwhile, let's actually play out that reaction. Mr. Kesh Ishwara, what, uh, Ishwara Pound, what exactly has he said about temples and mosques? Let's listen in. Kashi Vishwanathan Devastana. Court Liale, Sarebandi, the report for the day. Yauriti Ayodhya, the Aderiti Kashi Vishwanathan Devastana Nagate. Aderiti Matura, Sri Krishna Devastana Nagate. Yavia Devastana Guru. E. Dej Deli. Mogulru Vadaki. Ali Masidi will look at the draw. Ayala Devastana Guru Kuda, Yvatila Nale. Mate, a Masidi Guru Dhamsagi. Ali Hindu Deva Legal Bande Berthe. Let me recheck that connection with my colleague Akshara. Akshara, are you able to hear me now? Yeah, yes. Okay, I just wanted to understand in what capacity has Mr. Ishwarappa made this statement and where exactly was he speaking that he had gone on to speak about temples and mosques in the country? Well, this is not the first uh, time where BJP ministers, we have BJP ministers making such remarks, uh, you know, uh, regarding minorities or be it temples or mosques. Uh, you had a case, Ishwarappa, former minister of Karnataka, and also uh, present BJP, uh, former BJP MLA CT Ravi and BJP MLA Basan Gowda Party Lethnal. These uh, uh, BJP ministers and MLAs passing such controversial remarks regarding mosques. Mos uh, so this particular debate has once again come to the fore here in Karnataka with the Congress pa party coming to power here and also reverse, uh, now planning to reverse all the. Uh, laws which it calls anti-people, the anti-conversion law, anti cow slaughter law and also take a decision on hijab as well. So with the Congress government, uh, you know, making such bold move here in Karnataka and, uh, you know, trying to reverse all the, uh, what it calls the anti-people laws here in Karnataka, uh, once again, this particular statement, controversial statement has come to the fore. Uh, speaking about how Congress appeases minorities, uh, K.S. Ishwarappa, the former BJP minister said that, uh, you know, there are many temples uh, here in India which have been raised down uh, by Mughals and also um, mosques were built by these Mughals are here in India. So claiming uh, claiming this uh, case, Ishwarappa, former BJP minister, has said that uh, all these uh, same, uh, temples will be brought back. All these uh, mosques built by the Mughals, uh, you know, here in uh, India will be raised down. Once again, temples will be brought back. So that's the controversial uh, statement made by K.S. Ishwarappa, former BJP minister. So that's the claim being made. Uh, but uh, mm -hmm. there is no, there isn't any substantial evidence which he has been uh, seen providing regarding yes. this whole issue, which has in, uh, which the statement he has made. All right, Akshara, I request you to stay on with us. Sanket Yenagi of the Congress Party is with us on the broadcast. Mr. Yenagi, thank you so much. What do you make of the statement that has been made like a blanket statement by Mr. K.S. Sishwarappa talking about how Congress is going about with anti-people law? At least that's how he likes to put it. 
And in that uh, context, he also goes on to speak about how mosques are going to be raised and temples will be built on top of them. Firstly, the BJP has no morality to say anything on this issue. It has already damaged the reputation of Karnataka and the credentials of Karnataka. And the brand image of the Karnataka has already been demo damaged and demolished by the BJP because of its communal agenda. Karnataka was a peaceful state, but the BJP has made it a communal and a riot state, and it wanted to make it again a UP model. And uh, Mr. Ishwarappa, as such, he is known for his statements, which are very communally sensitive. He is not sensitive towards the sentiments of the Karnataka, for which reason he has been denied even the ticket by the BJP High Command. Yes. He, he is no longer a person of importance in BJP. Mm. And there is no need for anyone, mm. including the Congress or the citizens of the state, to give any importance to his statement. Mm. And his statement can be viewed that it is out of frustration since he has been denied the ticket, since he has been denied the, any important position in the party because of his irresponsible statements which are disrupting the criminal harmony in the state. Mm. So in my opinion, Mr. Ishwarappa has lost his mental balance mm. and he has lost it because of the frustration, has lost his importance in the party and out of frustration he is making some statements. And Mr. Yanagi, a point that you uh, were making, I would like to harp upon on that. Uh, the fact that Ishwarappa has lost out on any uh, you know, seat of importance when it is within the BJP, do you think this particular statement has been categorically made so that he can, uh, quote-unquote, please the party high command because that is what resonates with the party, at least with the RSS faction of the party? Uh, in my opinion, in the, and in the opinion of the general public and of my party, hmm. We feel that Mr. Ishwarappa is trying to gain some importance some way, at least so that he should not be pushed to the corners. Okay. As such, he has lost all the important both four years and important positions in the party, and he is without the people and the followers almost. Hmm. So he has been pushed to the corners. Hmm. And before he could be thrown to the dustbin, he wants to come out of it. There is some reputation or integrity and for which he is trying hard mm. but the people are watching as to what statement he is making and how it is having an impact mm. and the credentials of the country of the state mm. and more so karnataka is now being a place for investment for the investors which may mm. create job and employment and also it may boost the economic stability of the state mm. and such statements such irresponsible statements more so Hmm. would damage the integrity of the Karnataka and BJP should take some action against him okay. because it is affecting hmm. the job or employment and the economic condition of the state and his statement is going to be very dangerous hmm. and it would be viewed as a statement of the BJP itself. Either the BJP has to clarify Hmm. That it is not his statement, it is an individual statement of Mr. Hmm. Ishwar of Do you think that will happen, uh, Sanket Yanagi? Are you, are you sure that is going to happen at all, considering this is very much in line with what BJP's ideology is? And also, while on the one hand, the Congress Party uh, you know, uh, uh, is talking about investment and economics in the state, uh, what the BJP is doing is about targeting the Congress uh, on the basis of the taking back of the anti-conversion law and things like this. Do you think this is where they want to harp on as far as their politics is concerned and not talk about development or what are the real people's issue, whether it is electricity, education or jobs? BJP in its last tenure, instead of concentrating on the development or the growth of the state, or improvement of the economic status of the state and the health and other issues which were of prime importance. Mm. It concentrated more issues like communal issues, be it a case of Hindu-Muslim or be it a case of Christianity or be it a case of anything which is... Uh, their major concentration was on communal issue. For which reason? The people rejected the BJP. Mm. And despite that, not just that incident, even the Prime Minister has gone to an extent of saying that the, the, the Muslims or the people 
from other minorities can be recognized that their clothes and all. This is something affecting India's developmental agenda, the focus of the development, because the investors, who are the foreigners especially, would think twice again before investing in India. And a recent statement of uh, Barack Obama, the former president of the U.S., also about uh, the, the threat to the minorities in the country like India, is also something like a, a, an alarm as to how the government should conduct to take it forward. Mm. So if, uh, so in one way, Mr. Modi says, na khaunga, na khane dunga. Mm -hmm. And in another way, he says that, uh, sab ke saath sab ka vikas. Yes. But uh, the activity mm -hmm. of the Kong BJP leaders especially, mm -hmm. uh, contrary to what Mr. Modi is saying, mm -hmm. either they are undermining Mr. Modi, or they are insulting Modi, Hmm. Or they do not agree with Mr. Modi and still they are not in a position to hmm. say something against Mr. Modi. This is not the condition of the no. BJP. And BJP is in a position now to cover up its lacuna, hmm. hmm. to gain importance. They can go to any extent. If they can go to any extent. They don't care as to whether the peace and harmony is affected in the society. They don't care about the society's health. They don't care yeah. about the society's peace and harmony. So this is an irresponsible statement the party has to take an action against Mr. Ishwarapa. All right. Ms. Yenagi, thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast and thank you so much for offering your perspective on this particular story that is coming out of the state of Karnataka.